It's 11 trivia questions on all things Batman, from comic books to video games to movies and more. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. Today's episode is all about Batman. So if you like The Dark Knight, you're in the right place. I was looking around my garage today. If you're watching on YouTube, you could check this out. It is a Batmobile. That's right. It's got a little bendable Batman, and uh, the Batmobile is kind of rolling around in this box. One side of the box is completely smashed and damaged. But this was given to me for free by my friends at NJ Croce Toys in Laverne, California. Uh, my friend Nick runs this place, and anytime you see a bendable toy anywhere in the U.S., it's usually from NJ Croce Toys. They do Gumby and Betty Boop and Batman and Scooby-Doo and uh, a lot of different things like that. A lot of DC um, licenses. So this is one of the coolest things I have in my garage right now that I will probably give away at some point for a uh, trivia prize. I, I have a weird thing with um, vehicles. I don't collect any kind of vehicles. Uh, I never played with Hot Wheels too much as a kid. And anytime someone gives me something that's vehicle based, I'm always like, oh, I'll give that away somewhere. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. I just don't have a huge love for cars. If you've listened to the show before, you know that I drive a Hyundai Sonata with 310,000 miles on it. It's only 10 years old. So that's, that's my big reference to uh, the world of cars, <laughs> if you will. Lots of fun Batman stuff coming up on today's episode from comic books to movies to actors and more. I think you'll have a good time, even if you're slightly familiar with The Dark Knight and uh, the whole shebang. If there's a topic you want me to do, maybe you're like, I don't like Batman. I like the Green Lantern or the Flash or another DC hero. Go over to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and donate $5 or more per month. And you get to pick any topic you want me to do. And there are people loading up that Patreon chart as we speak. Let me read you a couple. Presidential History for Greg Hines in March. Mulan for Jen Wojnar. Jim Fields wants Lost, the TV show, which we've never done on the show. That would be a fun one. Smallville for Joe Finney. Uh, Indiana Jones for Mark Haas, one of our newest patrons, and I will be recording that one later this week, Mark. So if you're listening, be on the lookout for that one. Matt Pollock says he wants trivia. Yep, keeping the wordplay going. Trivia about famous houses. So there you go, trivia. And uh, Book of Mormon, the musical for Mo Martinez. That'll be coming up very soon in the month of March as well. So head on over there. Check out some of the newest rewards we have, including our new ebook club. I just put up a poll on the Patreon site where you can vote for the genre of the first book we're going to pick for March. And I found a really cool way on Amazon that you can buy books for people. And uh, you just put in like, oh, there's 10 people at this tier. And I put in all their email addresses and it sends you a link and you can open it on the Kindle app or your Kindle device if you happen to have one. So that'll be very easy to distribute the ebook codes uh, going forward starting at the end of March. All right, we're going to jump into some Batman trivia. I hope you have fun playing along with today's episode. Maybe it'll make you want to be a vigilante in your own hometown. We're going to jump into those 11 questions right now. Here we go. All right, here we go. Getting started with a nice easy question from the Batman universe. And here it is. Number one, what Batman villain does Harvey Dent become? Question number one, what Batman villain does Harvey Dent become? Question number two, what Batman TV show was known as Batman T-A-S? Batman T-A-S. What did those three letters stand for? Number two. Question number three, Alan Napier, January 7th, 1903 to August 8th, 1988, played what character on the 1960s Batman series? Who did Alan Napier play on the 60s Batman? Number three. Question number four, what artist who passed away, unfortunately, in 2016, did one of the soundtracks for Tim Burton's 1989 Batman? Number four, what artist who died in 2016 did one of the soundtracks for Tim Burton's 1989 Batman? Question number five, what were Bruce Wayne's parents' first names? Number five, what were Bruce Wayne's parents' first names? Number five, what were Bruce Wayne's parents first names? 
Question number six, what Batman villain formerly worked as a zoologist? Number six, what Batman villain formerly worked as a zoologist? Question number seven, who played Batman in the movie Batman and Robin from 1997? Who played Batman in Batman and Robin from 97? Question number eight, which of the following characters did Bruce Wayne first have a child with in the comic books? Is it Poison Ivy, Catwoman, Vesper Fairchild, or Talia al Ghul? Number eight, which of the following characters did Bruce Wayne first have a child with? Was it Poison Ivy, Catwoman, Vesper Fairchild, or Talia al Ghul? Number eight. Question number nine, who plays Bane in The Dark Knight Rises? Number nine, who plays Bane in The Dark Knight Rises? Question number 10, coming at you, what Batman video game was released on August 25th, 2009 in North America on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows, and Mac OS? Number 10, what Batman video game came out on August 25th, 2009? Your bonus question in the world of Batman. For two points, what actor is playing Bruce Wayne in an upcoming film called The Batman, and how old is that actor right now? Now, if you're listening to this in the future, he may be a year older, but uh, we're looking for the actor playing the Batman and how old he is right now as of uh, March 10th, 2020. That is it for your Batman questions. We'll be right back in just a second with the Dark Knight Answers. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but maybe you got some of these questions right. Was that a rhyme? I think it was. Number one, what Batman villain does Harvey Dent become? That is, of course, Two-Face. Number one, Two-Face, voiced by William Shatner in an animated Batman 60s movie just a couple years ago. Look for that. Number two, what TV show was known as Batman TAS? That was Batman the Animated Series. I loved it growing up as a young lad, and I have the whole box set completely sealed and signed by Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman. Number three, Alan Napier, born 1903 to 1988, played what character on the 60s Batman series? That was the butler, Alfred. Number three, you could have maybe guessed that one from the birth years and death years, Alfred. Number four, what artist who passed away in 2016 did one of the soundtracks for Tim Burton's 1989 Batman? That was Prince, R.I.P., great soundtrack, Party Man is on there. I think that was one of our question of the day questions as of late. Number five, what were Bruce Wayne's parents' first names? Thomas and Martha. You could hear Batman, uh, played by Ben Affleck, yelling about it at the end of Batman vs. Superman. Why are you saying my mom's name? Something like that. Number six, what Batman villain formerly worked as a zoologist? Man Bat, a.k.a. Kirk Langstrom, who was prominent on the animated series Man Bat. Number seven, who played Batman in Batman and Robin from 1997? George Clooney. Number seven, George Clooney. He uh, supposedly has a poster of him in that movie on the wall of his office uh, to remind him to never do something just for the cash grab. Something like that. I read a story about it one time. Number eight, which of the following characters did Bruce Wayne's first uh, first have a child with? Poison Ivy, Catwoman, Vesper Fairchild, or Talia al Ghul? That was Talia al Ghul, number eight, Raz al Ghul's daughter. And uh, someone told me when I did this at my live nights that he actually had a kid with Catwoman in a recent comic just a few weeks back. So that's why I had to add the word first to that question. Number nine, who plays Bane in The Dark Knight Rises? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Number 10, what Batman video game was released on August 25th, 2009 in North America on all the systems? Batman Arkham Asylum. And that started the big Arkham franchise where uh, Mark Hamill does the voice of the Joker and kills it. For two points, what actor is playing Bruce Wayne in the upcoming film, The Batman? And how old is he right now? That's Robert Pattinson. And he's 33 years old. People were not happy about that casting news when they first announced it. But uh, I feel like everybody's mad about all casting news, especially with superheroes. And then the movie comes out and everyone's kind of fine with it. Um, So we'll see what he can do with the role. And I think they're loading up on villains. And I heard that it may have something to do with the storyline of The Long Halloween, which is my favorite Batman graphic novel of all time. So hopefully those things are true and they can pull it off. 
That is it for today's episode on Batman. I hope you had fun. And if you want more Batman trivia, just search Trivia with Buds Batman or DC Villains. We did a couple weeks ago, and you should be able to find at least, I'd say, three to five other episodes we've done over the last three years on The Dark Knight. Question of the Day is brought to you by me. And the question of the day slot is open. If you want to support the show, send me an email. Say, I want to sponsor the question of the day. Your name or business or whatever you want me to say will be attached to the question of the day. And just email ryanbuds at gmail.com for more info. Which 2005 film's tagline is a tale of murder, mayhem, and revenge? Tweet me your answer to that question at ryanbuds or email me ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Yingling for the oldest brewery in America. And your trivia team name of today is Honey, I Shrunk the Quiz. Use that next time you play Trivia Night. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for leaving reviews, rating, reviewing, and subscribing are integral to this show growing, and I appreciate you doing it. We'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers.